Alright, I'm giving you a treat. I'm actually going to give you two videos. Two videos for the price of one. On. In. In. Celebrating. Super. Moon. Sunday. And I'm just out here. Enjoying. The moonlit sky. Just sitting. And just listening to the birds. There's actually birds out now. 1.30 in the morning. We've, um... I've heard we, we have a lack of bats in Pennsylvania. Now some of you might be like, okay, what's wrong with that? Having a lack of bats. No, you don't understand. <laughs> um... Pennsylvania. Sorry for moving the camera around. But. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you my face. <laughs> um, there's been a lack of bats in Pennsylvania. And for those of you who don't know. Bats eat up thousands of mosquitoes. And little bugs. So, this damn camera, I'm sorry, it's super moon, mani it's super moon manipulation. Uh, <laughs> Man, I want to talk to you guys. Ten to two. Ten to two, no, yeah, oh, no, almost ten to two. Get in there. Anyway. Yeah, so we need some bats. Apparently some kind of flu or virus came in from Europe, this is the word, and it's destroyed the bat population in Pennsylvania, so, you know, that could be a problem if it gets too hot and you have a lot of mosquitoes and bugs and God knows what they catch and, you know, what you're going to catch and stuff, whatever, but we need the bats, see, every, everything in nature has a purpose These bats are harmless. People have been watching too many horror movies. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I opened up the uh, Dao De Ching. And I opened up to number 71. And uh, this is great. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. It goes like this. I love this first line. Not knowing is true knowledge. Presuming to know is a disease. First realize that you are sick. Then you can move toward health. The master is her own physician. She has healed herself. Of all knowing, thus she is truly whole. Not knowing is true knowledge. There's another, um, I don't, I don't know which one and what which number it is in the Tao Te Ching, and I'm gonna paraphrase, but it's it's um. Um, something goes like this. Those who, those who think they know say. And those who don't, well, well those who do know, don't say. Something like that. <laughs> uh, meaning, you know, when you put things in proper perspective... Compare yourself to the mass of the universe. If you can imagine your, imagine looking at yourself. Pretend for a moment that you step out of yourself and you're looking at yourself right now. 
being conscious of your consciousness. And then step all the way back. Pretend you can go like fly, go into space, and you see the earth, you know. And you just see yourself get so small, you don't even see yourself. And then on top of that, the billions of galaxies, infinite space. If you're a humble person, you'll realize how insignificant you can seem. But at the same time, imagine everything you don't know. Man, that moon's looking good. But how many of us think that we know that we know? Because we know. Because we heard it from someone else who seems to know. They sound like they they know. They act like they know. They're very confident. So they must know. They got a bunch of letters after their name. Well, they got some title in front of it. Surely they must know. (laughs) Come on. I don't have to tell you how very smart people, even geniuses, do very stupid things or have no common sense at all. But, you know, we all do dumb things. Forgive yourself. Get forgiven by those who uh, you hurt. You move on. You learn. You teach. But yet we know so little. And I think when you can admit that you really can't know that you know. And that's the problem when you come across, especially, you know, fundamental Christians who um, rely on their own knowledge of, through the Bible and those who teach it. Thinking that's all that needs to be known. That's all I need to know. This is it. This is the truth. Because I heard it was the truth. I felt this thing. You know, I felt something. So it must be true. Or is it faith, as you say? Like I say, we are all really agnostics. If you really want to be intellectually honest, given what I just told you about being in in the universe, come on. Come on now. If you really want to be honest, let's be honest. You are agnostic. With your own leanings, your own bias, either towards Christianity or atheism, or some other religion. problem is you get pigeonholed thinking yeah then, oh I know oh I've come to this conclusion now oh I must know now I come to knowledge right how many of us who were Christians who became either a uh, deist or atheist whatever agnostic deers agnostic <laughs> um you know came out of religion you thought you knew Till you came across some other people who sound like, well, maybe they know something else. I mean, no. Oh, wait. 
Well, it reminds me of another saying. What is it? Um, the more I learn, the less I know. The more you learn about life and stuff and things and whatever, you really become... Like, <laughs> you have to come, you know, to the end of yourself and say, Wow. There's a lot I don't know. And it's okay. It's alright to not know everything. I mean, just from this in the Tao Te Ching, I mean, that's wisdom. That's wisdom. That's true knowledge. Alright, what does it say again? Let me get in the light. Not knowing is true knowledge. Presuming to know is a disease. First realize that you are sick. First realize that you don't know everything. First realize that... I don't know. Be true to yourself. Some things don't add up. First realize that you are sick. Then you can move towards health. I am so moving towards health. And this is the master is their own physician. She has healed, her, healed herself of all knowing. That she is truly whole. It speaks of wisdom. Right? Just like uh, wisdom in Proverbs is um, a she. Same thing here. Is it really a she? No, it's just some wisdom using his wisdom I'm running out of time and I'm hearing noises in the woods oh today you know today was the first day I actually saw a bear out here in five years yeah driving down the road see something crossing the road I'm like wait a minute that, that ain't no dog that looks pretty buff for a dog <laughs> get closer it was a bear and I would say this bear I don't know how old the bear is but I say it was midway through its you know growing stage like a, a teenage bear that kind of size not a cub but not a full grown yeah if I had to put it in human years I'd say he was like uh, I don't know, 14 15 <laughs> But yeah, Zorro crossed the road and went right up into the woods. It was, that, was, that was bugged out. That was about uh, only uh, not even a mile from my house. So, those noises I'm hearing. Those noises I'm hearing. <laughs> Alright. There it is, my second video on this super moon. Super Moon Sunday. Take care, everybody. Much peace, much prosperity. Much love to you guys. Brother John out.